Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Liz Clayman. It is the last hour of trading. Countdown to the closing bell begins right now. Look at the major indices. They're staring in the face their first day of gains after three straight sessions of losses down NASDAQ S&P all moving higher with a decent margin there. Gold and silver ticking up again at the rally that we are seeing right now on Wall Street and the floor show. The traders at the New York Stock Exchange CME Group and the nine weighing in on that certainly will make news. Thank you very much, Peter. Listen, this is a very sad day for me and for a lot of people in the financial world. The financial world and financial journalism lost a fierce lion today. Mark Haynes, a great journalist, lawyer, and my co-anchor when I was at CNBC, died last night at the too young age of 65. He was... The hour is a good thing. Martha Stewart living, ticker symbol MSO, getting a nice pop today, moving higher by 26.5% or a dollar, still a $4.77 stock. But, you know, the company has retained black Stone to explore potential strategic partnerships. Martha Stewart said that as the founder of the largest shareholder as well, she, quote, fully supports this initiative. Martha Stewart living shares down more than 35 percent for the year. And let's look at over five years. It used to be one of these high flyers, as you can see, much better back in 2007. The market cap is only about $271 million. But the CEO said today that the company's enterprise value does not match the strength and power of the brand. It is a great brand. We have to say that. But uh, certainly when you look at this move all the way down and then bumping along the ground and not doing much, this is a move that we're looking at. You want to see the move back there. Let's take a look at the markets making a late session run. Nicole Petalides on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Nicole. We have seen the markets certainly. Lots of moves in the metal markets as investors seek safe havens. Sandra Smith, what's happening right now with gold, which of course has been the heavy trade over the past year? Yes, yeah, certainly. Gold and silver. Because you cover the metals so closely, for all you people who have been thinking about investing in a company that's actually producing gold and other precious metals, you've got to hear this interview right now. Joining me now in a Fox business exclusive from Vinny Brand, branching out into things like silver and copper and lead. Good to have you, Chuck. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks. You, you have to explain to me, and, and of course, I've got five little Krugerrands my dad gave me many years ago, but... <laughs> Why are ordinary people so frantically adding to their portfolio when it comes to either physical gold or the gold miners like yourself? What is it doing for your portfolio? Well, it, it's doing a lot of things, actually. Gold, where do you see the next big opportunity? Which metal is that and why? Well, we're sticking with gold. When, when one of your miners finds a gigantic nugget of gold, do you get the call? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, most of our mines, uh, you don't see those gigantic nuggets, although we do have one in Ontario that's uh, probably the highest grade, richest gold mine in the world. And every once in a while, we get into one of those areas. They're into the mine up in Ontario and, and see that. Can we do that? I want to grab a big nugget and say, look what I found. <laughs> well, you, can, you can grab it, but then you have to put it in the hopper with the rest nuts. of it. Nuts. In the hopper. Nuts. All right, Chuck, thank you very much. Good to see you. It's a pleasure being here. Chuck Jonas is the CEO and president of Gold Corp. That's right. I mean, more than 600,000 ounces of gold mined in just that quarter. Closing bell ringing in 31 minutes. She runs one of the world's biggest communities. Okay, this looks like a rally that might hold till the end of the session. We've got 25 minutes left, Nicole. What do you see down there? What's interesting uh, when you're talking... I'm always worried that I'm putting the red on the, and the black on the wrong. <laughs> I think I'm going <laughs> to blow up the car. <laughs> That's when you call somebody and flag them down. Thank you very much. I was about much. to say, I'm sure somebody would be happy to help you. No, and I don't change, t no, not ever change the tire. As the, t thank goodness for, yeah, oh. AAA. Thank you. Yeah, and the rest of you. The chairman of one of the largest marketing and communications networks in the world is my next guest. She's a true master of getting the word out for some of the biggest and most valuable corporate brands and small ones, too. She knows what sells and, and then how to sell it. Joining me now in a Fox Business exclusive. Sure. How, when you're, when you have a company that comes to you, let's just throw out some of them that Amex, mm -hmm. Kraft, mm -hmm. Unilever, uh, come to you, how does the product design, and after a while you get a feel for what is it about this product uh, that makes a lot of CEOs is that the hardest thing to find is somebody who has great marketing ideas. Coming up with the Wendy's, where's the beef, or, or these iconic have a coconut smile kind of commercials that last forever. 
no. process and a way to work that allows them to put forward their best ideas. Do they all sit around? Because having an idea on a timetable is actually a very difficult thing. Have you been hiring? Are people and companies spending more money on advertising, which would mean that you, the street, mm -hmm. but didn't mind surrounding himself with people as big or the potential to be bigger than him? Well, that was his, I mean, that was part of become massive. Um, are, are these companies that are coming to you now and to that end, other brick and mortar companies, how do you get them on that social media track? Well, the whole uh, China Wakes, that is, it's the title of that book by Nick Kristoff, right. China Wakes. Right. They're waking up. Are they using your company? Absolutely. We have 2,000. <gasps> but each country has a different mm -hmm. culture mm -hmm. about advertising. What does China have? No, I just as well. Well, you guys represent some of the biggest and most iconic stories, right? <laughs> the Tom Hanks movie. You loved that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, no, that no, was great. To have you. Oh, 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 look, yes. she's, she's running on, on okay. Red Bull or something. I mean, lots of energy. <laughs> Give us a second. The closing bell's ringing in 19 minutes. He manages more than $16 billion. He's here to make you money with names. Dan Chung picking five stocks. Some you know, some you might. Observation finally with Dan Chung of Fred Alger Management talking to us about your number one money maker. And I say reservation because it is? Open table and creator of online reservation systems. Uh, you know, just like airplanes and tickets have gone a 70, 80% on the internet, we think res restaurant reservations are going to go that way. For Mike McPartland and me, I'll make the reservation there because he owes me. Thank you, James. <laughs> All right, well, we're going in.